morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on what part of the world you are in. I am going to jump into Richie's Prairie because I need a mental break from the valley map. And it's been forever since I've played on this map. So I'm going to jump in. Let me grab a little bit of speed. So I hate walking slow. You all know that. I'm going to tab to my vehicles just once because I absolutely cannot remember where we were or what we were doing. It's been probably at least two weeks, if not more, since I've played on this map. Right, we've got barley sitting here, so apparently we have just harvested a barley field. All right, so our lime spreader is sitting here, fertilizer spreader is sitting here. Okay, so our grapes are now ready to harvest. You're sitting there. What do you have in you? Nothing. You are sitting here empty. Let me pull you up a little bit so I can zoom my camera out. So lime fertilizer. You are sitting here because, okay, well, I probably set up for a grape harvest. And then the rest of my trucks are sitting here in the yard. All right, we're probably going to need to cut the grass at some point. These are sitting here. And you're full of earthworms, so you're ready to go fishing. All right, so let me figure out where we are, what we just did. So it looks like field three we just harvested. Field two's not quite ready. They're the only two fields we own. Well, we own the vineyard, fields two and three, and then we own the tomato field. The tomato field was just harvested. And I think this is sitting here set up for cranberries. I think we wanted to throw cranberries in this field. Two is fertilized. Let's take plowing off a second. Grapes are ready to harvest. Tomatoes are... F is that this first layer? No, that's the first layer. So we do need to fertilize the tomatoes. Alright, so let's get... Let's get this guy set up. And I think I'm doing cranberries so we can get cranberries to the juice factory. It's been, like I said, it's been at least two weeks since I played on this map. Alright, let us be hire worker. Gonna miss a little strip on the end of the row, that's alright. Oh no, it's going to the edge. Alright, so we're going to do cranberries there. And then this guy's sitting here waiting with barley in it. I'm assuming we planted barley to make flour with. But I can't remember. <laughs> Alright, so you're going to do your thing. Let's head... Okay, so you have barley sitting in you, so you've got to be taken care of. Let's get the... grapes taken care of. Esten... E-S-T-E-B-A-N-E-L -E 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 Gamer 1. This map is public. If you type in exclamation point Facebook, you'll get the link to our Facebook group. Type in exclamation point maps, M-A-P-S, and it will get you to the Trello board. And the Trello board is where I have all of my mod links. Alright, we are going to harvest the grapes. Now, keep in mind, this is the crazy Dixie harvester. This will harvest 10 rows at once. Now, there are, if you go into the vehicle shop, we have custom vehicles for the map. There are two, there should be two grape harvesters in here. One of them is the regular one. It'll, if you want to play realistically, it'll harvest one row at a time, and it does the red grapes, the white grapes, the tomatoes, the almonds, 
and the olives. If you go with the crazy Dixie Harvester, it does 10 rows at once. And I like the uh, crazy Dixie Harvester. So let me make sure I'm getting, I'm not, I'm going to miss the last three rows. So let's bump him over. Now the red grapes, I am going to actually save and throw them in the raisin factory. The white grapes we're going to continue to turn into wine. Mike P6969, hey old man, want to keep up the great work and your team. Thank you very much, much appreciated. I needed a mental break from the valley map, so I'm jumping in the prairie map. I haven't played this map in about two weeks. So we have arable, red grapes, white grapes, tomatoes, olives, almonds, and we also have arable peas and beans on this map. If I have enough cash, we're going to put... I don't have, yeah, we're going to, I'm going to need to see if there's something I can sell. I don't have, I'm going to probably throw these grapes in storage. Because I don't have enough cash to buy a piece of land to put two new factories down. So at some point, all right, let me turn this off till I get it turned around. Now, I think if I skip five rows from the previous one, I think it'll get all of the grapes. So I think if I go on the second one in, I think I can get all the grapes to the right. No, yep, I can. And we won't miss any. What is your Trello? Trello is where all of my map links are. So all you gotta do is type in comments, exclamation point maps, M-A-P-S, and you'll get the link to the Trello board. Trello board has all six of my maps listed on it, plus all the vehicles and all the placeable mods. So if someone wants to hit comments up, exclamation point maps, M-A-P-S, and exclamation point Facebook, we'll get you our Facebook group. So if you run into any problems with any of the maps or the downloads or how to use Trello, we can help you on in our Facebook group. And of course, he's all wound up today. And the back door, uh, usually the back door is open all day. <laughs> But I, uh, it's been real cold out today, so I actually closed the back door, so he's going to be a pain in the butt. Oh, uh, so I need to lower the harvester first, and then we need to get the pipe out. Bad touch. Oh, yeah, get, give me a second. Let me grab my mouse. Let me throw this on pause a second. Let me grab my mouse so I can jump into Trello a second. Exclamation point maps will get you the Trello board. Exclamation point Facebook will get you the Facebook group. And apparently that link is not work. Oh, there we go. Exclamation point um, YouTube. I think I put this one in here. That'll get you my YouTube channel. There's a the video on there. It tells you exactly how to use the Trello board. Let's go back on continue. Let's jump in here. And let's grab the first two couple rows of grapes.
yes, the Trello is just a website where all of my links are posted in one place. Jump out of there. We'll get back into the harvester. We'll get the pipe back in. And it will grab the next couple rows of grapes. I think I need to be on this end one to catch the couple of rows to my left. Am I going to miss it? No. I'm going to miss two rows. All right, let's move over here. That, that'll work. Like I said, there is a more realistic harvester that does one row at a time, but I use the crazy Dixie harvester that does 10 rows at a time. I've got a troll in already that's going to make me famous again. I love trolls that want to make me famous. I say hi, I was just passing through, but continue work. You are very good at what you do. Mike, thank you so much. Appreciate you stopping in. It's not going to be a long stream. I just wanted to get a couple hours of gameplay in before I take a break and make dinner. I'm home alone with the dog and the cat. The family is camping. Now, what are my chances? No, I better come over here. I've all missed those couple rows to my right. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I'm... the 16x map was definitely fun to build. It's, to me, as 16x map single player, I just don't like doing a lot of driving. So I personally, I'm not a fan of 16x maps. 4x is the perfect size for me. And this map has a lot to do in single player, but yet it's not overwhelming. Turn this guy off. Come on, we'll get the pipe out again. Let me grab my... Ah, if I don't run through the grapevines. Let's grab our truck. And we will get this guy emptied. All right, let's pull up, get him folded back down, and we'll go up this row of grapes. And this should be the end of the red grapes. And then we'll harvest the white ones. And then we'll have to fertilize the tomato field and our vineyard.
Yeah, I don't have a lot of cash to sell. So I'm going to put these grapes in storage until we're ready to buy a piece of property and put the grape dryer down so we can make raisins. Oh, so there is another small row of red grapes. Turn this guy off. Now I don't want to touch the white grapes. I only want to hit the red grapes. I think if I'm about here, I think it'll get the red grapes to my left. Yeah, without touching the white grapes. So this is the end of our red grapes. Let's get let's get the pipe out. All right, pipe is out. Let's throw. Let's get our last load of red grapes. Now the right, the white grapes we're going to throw right into the the winery to make uh, white wine. Red grapes I'm going to save for raisins. All right, let's get this guy folded back down. And I think if I hit the fourth row in, it'll harvest everything to my left. Fourth row or fifth row? Will you get everything to my left? Yes, you will. So I'm going to sacrifice some red grapes so we won't be getting any red wine to sell, but I want to get set up with raisins so we can use the raisins, I think, to make... Raisins are used in another factory to make cookies and granola bars, which we don't have those factories down quite yet. All right, let me come back one row so I don't miss everything to my right. Yeah, we should be good. Oh, I should have went over. That's all right. Grabbies, hello. It's been a while since we spoke. I hope you're doing well. I am doing awesome. The new 16x map is out. I'm going to take a month to just sit back and relax before FS22 comes out. Now let's turn you off and then we'll come up that row of white grapes. We'll finish the long row from the other side. Let's throw these right in the factory. Yeah, Fix 16X has been out for about a week 
Yeah, about a week. I have a on my YouTube channel there's a map release stream if you want to see the uh, 16x some of the highlights of the 16x map but let's come down to the end of this long row and let's grab the rest of yeah this long row and let's grab the wet the rest of these white grapes I think I can go all the way to this row. As long as I can catch the four to my left, we'll be good. Yep, it, we're good. Alright, let's take this long row down. Um, super awesome, got to check out the trail. Yeah, it's, it's on the Trello board. Um, now, if you take, when you go to the Trello board, the column, the Trello board's broken up into columns. So if you get the map from the column that has the Ritchieville map in it, the Hollow map in it, the Islands map in it, and the New Valley map in it, the 16X map, that the, the very next column to the right has all the required mods. You need everything from that column in order to make the map work. If you don't get everything from that next column over to the right of the, the map, um, without all the required mods, the map will not even load. Now I think if I hit this row, I'll catch everything to the right. Yeah, let's go down this row. Sweet, yeah, I took a break from farming, was super burnt out. Yeah, I have I've I don't play off camera at all. Uh I've been focusing on getting my YouTube channel up and running. So I've been doing a lot of recording, um, editing, rendering, and uploading videos specific to YouTube that are not live streams. So I had to learn how to do um I had to I purchased an inexpensive editing program, so I've been I taught myself how to edit and render videos, and then the last two days, I've been working on just getting a couple episodes recorded, edited, renders, and uploaded to YouTube, not yet released, just so I can get about five or ten videos ahead. Uh, we have, yeah, we can do another row before I have to empty it, I think. So let's jump over to right about here. I should catch everything to my left. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm, I'm having fun making videos specifically for YouTube. Now I just need the subs. I need a thousand subs. YouTube, you need a thousand subs and four hundred thousand, or yeah, four hundred thousand and four thousand hours of watched videos in order to get paid from YouTube. Uh, so I have two hundred and fifty subs. So I need seven hundred and fifty more.
Uh, we're going to hit the end of this row before we hit 100% full. Yeah. All right, let's turn this guy off. Let's get these dumped into the vineyard. Oh, wrong aisle. So we can get um, these turned into white wine. And we'll go harvest that last aisle, or that last row and a half. And I got to go check on my hired help, because I had a cedar running cranberries in one of my fields. Now let's get the pipe out. Come on, there we go. Oh, you are the cell point. You're in the wrong spot. Good thing that this thing doesn't buy. Gr I purposely did not put grape sales there f just for that reason, because somebody would take it to the wrong spot like me and drop it off. <laughs> I'll show you what else you need to make grapes here in a minute as soon as we get this last row and a half harvested. Or er, to make wine. Alright, let's go grab that last row and a half. This is a 4X map. Uh, was built off of the Ritchieville base, but I I deleted six crops from the Ritchieville map. We added new crops into this map, so none of the Ritchieville factories will work on this map, but this map has its own set of placeable factories for you to use. All right, cool. So two more passes, we'll have our grapes harvested. And now we definitely have to do a little bit of fishing. Oh cool, our cedar's done. We'll have to do a little bit of fishing because I think our fish processing plant is completely shut down. And then we'll check on our factories. But I wanted to get all of the arable work done first. But appreciate everybody stopping in saying hello. Let's grab last bit of white grapes. Yeah, I've been playing a lot of um Banished off camera. I tried recording an episode of Banished strictly for YouTube. It just it doesn't it just doesn't get the views. It's one of my all-time favorite go-to games to just sit back, relax, and chill. Like I can sit and play Banished for like 12 hours and lose track of time. Is that a scary game? No, Banished is more of a colony building survival game where you get plopped in the middle of nowhere with like six six houses and a couple of people 
and a barn and some supplies and then you just have to craft and survive from there I have it on my YouTube channel if you want to check out Banished I think there's like eight or nine episodes on there it's my it's the game's probably you know eight or ten years old but it's my still my favorite game to go to All right, let's get the rest of these in here. I'll show you, if you're new to this map, I'll show you what you need, what else you need to make wine. So let me just get this guy emptied. Had Dixie Dixie swung the hammer on our troll. Now I'm not going to be famous. All right, let's get this guy parked over here. All right, yeah. If you're new to the map, if you want to make your wine for red wine. F um, JF234450 FRR, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream, much appreciated. So, if you want to make red wine, you need red grapes, which I'm not putting in here. You need water. Barrels, you make at the mill. Um, that'll get you your red wine. White wine, you need the white grapes, water, and barrels. Chocolate liqueur, you need cocoa from the orchard, water, barrels, and either sugar cane or sugar beet. And then melon wine, you need melons from the greenhouse plus water and barrels. And that'll get you your melon wine. All right, so let's find my truck, which should be sitting over here. The red grapes that we just harvested, I want to save for raisins. But I don't have the raisin factory down yet. Because what I want to do is I want to purchase... Let this auto save. I want to purchase field 12 and I want to put my placeable factories down over there but it is like five hundred thousand dollars more than what we currently have so I'm gonna hold off these are just gonna go into central station or central warehouse Old man, you're already famous with all of your great maps. <laughs> Thank you for taking care of uh, chat. Much appreciated. Yeah, I needed a mental break from the valley map, so I figured it's been a couple weeks since I played on this map. So I got to jump out here for a little bit before I cook myself some dinner. Now, because I also need to start thinking about cash for... Now, I could do... We could bring our brooks back here, and I might be able to make enough room here to put our... That might be a possibility. Can I get... Let's look at something real quick. If we brought the brooks over here and took these trees down, can I get the... Oh, where am I? Back this way. Do I have enough room to put... I do. We can actually get... If I took these trees out, we can actually get the grape dryer in here. Now, is there a place or over here even better? All right, we're going to take these trees out and we're going to put the grape dryer down. So I'm not going to throw these in storage. We're just going to leave these sitting back here in this truck for a little bit. 
and we're going to make room for the grape dryer. And this way I will not spend $900,000 on that field. So I'm just going to park these over here for now. Let's get this guy out of the, fi out of the field. Now, the, I planted cranberries here so we can throw them right into the juice factory. So let's get this guy off the field. And then the next project we're going to do is I have to get... I have to get the fertilizer spreader out. And we have to fertilize our tomato fields and our grape... our, our vineyards that we just harvested. And I also need to do a little bit of fishing um, because our fish processing plant, I think, is completely shut down. So I just want to get this guy out of the field. I don't know if I'll take him all the way back to the ranch. I'll just get him out of the field. So we only own these two fields, so there's no use of um, driving them all the way back to the farm. So I only own fields two and three at the moment. So we can leave him parked over here. I do. I still have to empty my harvester, and I that barley is going to go to. I've got to look at the refinery. It's either going to go to the refinery or it's going to go to the mill to make flour. Because this map has no oil, so you have to use certain grains to make your diesel with. So I'm just going to park him here for a minute. And let's check on... Oh, wrong one. It's control G. Let's check on the refinery real quick. Uh, let's check on the refinery real quick. Where are we with diesel? So we have enough coal. Now we have enough grain where it's going to make us yeah, we got plenty of fuel, so I don't need to throw that. I don't need to throw that barley into the refinery. So we're going to turn it into flour. And then field two. Let's look at the growth state on field two real quick. That's almost ready to harvest. What do we have growing in two? Clover. We're waiting for the clover so we can get the apiary running. All right, so let's head back to the house a minute. Let's grab our fertilizer spreader. Now, which one's lime, which one's fertilizer? I can't remember. You're the lime. You're the fertilizer. Now, let's go back to the tomato field. Wayner, hello, thank you for stopping in. If I missed anybody in chat, I do apologize. I bought... <laughs> Don't ask me the names because I can't remember. I bought, like, over the last two days, I bought three new games on Steam. I, well, I bought one game on Steam, played it for 20 minutes, and got a refund. And I can't even remember which game it was. And then, so I decided, you know, let me try another game. So I bought Train Life. So it's basically like Euro Truck, but with trains. And I played that. I got through the tutorial. And I spent about just under two hours on it. And I said the hell with it. And I got a refund on that one. 
And then there was one other game I tried, all early access games. And I played that one for about an hour and I said to hell with it. So I did not have <laughs> a lot of luck with um, getting a few new games. Now I'm hoping the soil does not look like it's ready for fertilizer though. This did need a layer of fertilizer, right? Oh, it needs lime. It needs lime and fertilizer. All right, let's get, let me get the lime spread. Let's get the lime down on it first. We, we just harvested these tomatoes and they went into the juice factory to, to turn into tomato juice. But let's head back to the yard real quick and let's grab our lime spreader. What do you have in you? Ooh, you're only 29% full. We're making lime, but I don't know if I brought any over to the farm silo yet. Let's find out. If not, I may have to go do a quick run to bring some lime over here. I know we have lime in here, perfect. We're making our own lime. All right, let's get that, let's get this taken care of first and then see if it'll take a layer of fertilizer. And then we'll check on the vineyard and see what it needs. Yeah, I think the Richieville map is still my favorite map, but I don't want to play on it because I'm doing a YouTube series on it. So I figured this is my second favorite map, so we'll jump in here and play on this for a little bit today. I think we finally have all these orchards and greenhouses running. We're waiting on the clover to get our apiary up and running. All right, let's see if we can get, see if this will take some lime. Yes, it will take a layer of lime. All right. At the moment, Dixie has a tie on the hollow map and the valley map. The valley map is definitely more fun in multiplayer. To me, it, there's just too much driving as a single player. So after I got a refund for the, the three games I bought, I have like a 25 or $30 credit sitting in my Steam account, which is going to go towards FS22, and I dusted off a couple of old games in my Steam library that I haven't played in two years, and I'm going to do a YouTube series on them. I dusted off <laughs> Transport Fever 2. I re ended up recording one episode, but then decided I didn't want to play it, so I scrapped the one episode I did record and uh, uninstalled Transport Fever 2. The gameplay is just way too slow to do a YouTube series on. You end up forwarding time a lot, or playing in fast mode, 
So that's another game that you just have to play off camera. Or live stream. It's just hard to record a 30 minute video with Transport Fever 2. Teleporting single player and with the server makes it not fun in uh, multiplayer. Dix, I don't know what you're going to do when FS22 comes out and you have no uh, F11 button. So when I built this map, these rows were spaced out just for this um, fertilizer slash lime spreader. Bad touch, what does F11 do? There's a mod called the Easy Dev Tools that works mad. It's the most cheaty mod in the entire for the entire game. I use it. I use it when I'm testing. And I don't. The only thing I use it for when I'm playing is uh, walking speed, so I can run around faster. Not gonna play it. The only reason I'm gonna get it is I want to see the editor. So I've got to get the game so I can open up the base map in the editor and see how bad... Oh, I should have put this on follow me and limed and fertilized at the same time. So the only reason I got 22 was... or I'm getting 22 because I need to, to open up the base map to look at the editor to see how bad Giant screwed us for 22. Old man farming, hello? <laughs> Every time you hear something about 22, it's bad. <laughs> There's a lot of modders that are not looking forward to 22 because of the new graphics engine. And no global company. There's a new script that's going to run all the factories. Yeah, I should have threw this on, um, I should have hired a worker, or I should have threw this on follow me and done the uh, fertilizing at the same time. Alright, so that job is done. So let me just check the map. Turn that off. Why do you still say you need lime? I just put lime down. Oh, because I'm looking at the wrong field. I was looking at the wrong field. This probably didn't even need lime. It does need a, a layer of fertilizer, though. Yeah, I probably limed that for absolutely no reason. Let's see if it'll take the fertilizer. before we go any further. Yeah, okay, so it will take the fertilizer. It's going dark blue. Yeah, I looked at the uh, olive field going, yeah, this needs lime. Y'all probably yelling at me in chat. Start to, oh, uh, bad touch. It's get you start your real save game on the valley map. It's tough single player it really is I was toying around with the fact of making a second version of that map without all the buildables like every single thing already built and all the fields open like every factory that's built into the map, it's already pre-built.
Spend over uh, 120 hours cheating the file. <laughs> yeah. There's over 100. Uh, that's because there's over 100 global company functions built into that map. That would be really nice with everything built. Yeah, we can call it, we can still call the original one Ritchie Valley, and then we can call the second one, we have to name it a different name. So we can call it like Ritchie Valley Built or something crazy. We'll still keep Ritchie Valley, but we'll have to call it a different name. And then um, it, it'll, it'll take me, it wouldn't be hard to do. But it, it'll actually take me longer to go in and rename everything than it would to actually remove all the buildables from, <laughs> from the map. To cheat stuff and to get it done, but I was talking about the auto drive routes. Yeah, I know you had to get everything built just to do the auto, uh, the, um, auto drive routes. And it was the only way to get everything built is to cheat everything in. So I don't know. We'll see. I'm not going to make any decisions on any new maps until 22 comes out. Get this guy shut off. You can sit here a second. Let's look at the map. So that is now fully ready to go. So our vineyard should now take another layer of fertilizers. So let's get these guys. Oh, wrong one. Let me come back into this one first. Right control and F to turn follow me on. Let's get this guy back to the yard. And it will take the fertilizer spreader over to the vineyard. Yeah, it, that's the only problem if I if I do that with that map if we make everything already pre-built, no one's going to want to play the current version of the map. Everybody's going to want to everything already built and not have to mess with building. So I'd actually rather build the other map I have started, uh, which is Hidden Lake, which is basically the islands map without all the islands, so all the land is merged together. just depends on how hard or how easy it's going to be to convert anything from 19 to 22. Uh, 
you sit there. Let's jump in here. And he was coming in hot, so let's take this over to the vineyard. Yeah, so once, yeah, exactly. Once everything is built, there, it, that, it won't be fun to, build, to play that map anymore. Then it becomes like any other ordinary map. Here's, if I decide to finish that the Hidden Lakes map for 19, it'll be a 16x map with all the fill types from Ritchieville, Hollow Islands, and Valley. But everything will be already built on the map for you. It'll just be 16x instead of uh, a 4x map. FS22, FS poo poo. Now I don't, I think I could fertilize this without it going to the next growth stage. Yeah, our soil's turning dark. Perfect. taking fertilizer right it is taking fertilizer okay so I'm going to make sure it is all right it's not going to show much on your map because the where the plants are it's really small so it's not going to show everything being dark Yeah, with the family gone this week, it's really it's really weird because even though I, you know I'm staying in my sister's spare room at the moment, I'm still on their schedule. I'm not on my own schedule, and it's really weird being on my own schedule this week. Because normally I get up at like three thirty in the morning and can't fall back to sleep, but I can go in the kitchen and make a bunch of noise. So I was actually up early, made coffee, got my videos recorded edited and rendered even before by like 730 Yeah, it's just really weird how this shows up on the map. Where it's not all dark blue. 
We'll walk up to one of the plants and see if it says 50% fertilized or 100% fertilized. Don't scratch the limo as you're driving by. No disco ball playing at the house at 3 a.m.? If I was home by myself, maybe. Once my doctor and, her, and lawyer get their shit together with um, disability, I'll have my own place. I feel, uh, I have a friend that I've known since I was in high school. He's like five years older than I am. But we've kept in touch over the years. And I feel bad for him because he was just diagnosed with early Alzheimer's. I'm pissed at him because as soon as he got his diagnosis, within, within 30 days he was approved for disability. And I've been fighting it now for two freaking years. Start acting like I've got the symptoms. Yeah. They, unfortunately, Social Security Disability, when you go to in front of the judge, they want to see MRIs and official statements from the doctors. Last pass, and this will be another job done. Four months in the hospital stay, dragging you out, comes to find out. All you do is walk in and ask my doctor for a letter. Some doctors just don't want to play nice. They're afraid of losing their license. I'm actually thinking of switching lawyers. I want to go with the, um, I think I'm going to go with a bigger law firm. They have, even if I have to give up a bigger percentage than this guy I'm, I am using. All right, so what do you say now? You say only 79% fertilized because the way these bushes sit, it's hard to get 100% fertilizer on here. So that's the best we're going to do with fertilizer. 
All right, which aisle do I need to go down? Need to go over like three more. This one will do. The thing is, none of my people helping me told me that's all I needed. Yeah, it's I hate the entire system. I just hate the entire system and the entire process. I'm going to park this guy over near the field where we just harvested, or just seeded rather, because I know it's going to need a, a layer of fertilizer. And I'm not trying to get like work-related disability. I already had that when I was actually in the hospital. I'm talking about long-term social security disability where I'm getting the runaround. All right, let's let this guy sit out here for when this field is ready. Right, we have... Let's grab... Yeah, that looks really ugly. Let's head back to the house and grab... What, am I, what did I come back here for? I came back here for a truck to empty that harvester. Uh, this will do. Politics and all playing games, yeah, it's ridiculous. And it was even worse, too, because when I was like two months away from my court hearing when COVID hit and they shut the courts down and the doctor's office shut down. And then everything that put everything on hold for another year. While this is loading, can we turn barley into flour? Yes, we can. Yeah, it, it, like I said, I'm, I'm seriously thinking of grabbing a new attorney. The guy I'm using is about to retire. He's not taking on any new cases. Oh, this is going to get us a good bit of flour. We don't have the mill down yet, but we're ready for it. Can I sneak? Uh, yeah, U-turn, I can. 
Right, let's throw this in the home silo. Switch compartments on this trailer. Let's get the barley unloaded. While that's unloading, oh, we only have sheep. But let's take a peek at our sheep. We only have 77 sheep. We need to buy more sheep. But they don't need anything. Let's get this guy over here. Alright, let's grab Control G menu and let's look at fish processing real quick. I think I'm, yeah, it's disabled. We are out of fish. We have plenty of ice cubes. We have plenty of diesel. We have to get that going, but. Alright, let's do that first. Now, unfortunately, the only way to do fishing is to tab through your vehicles. Alright, we have a load of earthworms. Let's head over. Now, it's been a while since I've done some fishing, so I can't remember where the drop-off spots are, so... We may be driving in circles around these buoys for a little bit. I told you I'll be driving around in circles for a bit. There we go. He's already heading out of the theme park. No more rides for him. There we go. I gotta remember where all the buoys are. It's been so long. Don't you hit me. Is it this side? Of course it's not that side. Oh sure, you're coming out. You, don't, you didn't hit me the first time, you want to hit me the second time. Wasn't I on that side the first time? Uh, where are we headed from here? Let's go down this way. I'm probably missing that buoy out in the middle of the lake. <laughs> Give me a second to get these full, I'll take a peek at chat. Yeah, of course it's not going to be on that side. So we have three more buoys to hit. Probably miss that one. Yeah, let's hit this one, I'll go back and hit the other two. Before I added in the extra boobies, I knew exactly, I had a real, I had a good pattern in, that I was doing. But now that I added the extra boobies, I'm completely lost as to where I drop off the bait. 
that one. Is that the one we just got? No, it should be this one and one more. Well, that was easy. I stumbled into that one. Dixie has pirates on valley. You have jet skiers on prairie. They want to run me over. Yeah, the valley map has the boat on the spline. I didn't want to take the time. I would have had to build the second water plane in order to get rid of the boat on the spline. And I would have had to re-terraform all the land under the water, make it a different height. And I didn't want to get into all that work, so I just got lazy and threw the hollow fishing boat in the uh, in that map. All right, where is my right there? Oh, we're out of earthworms. No, we're not. We got plenty. Of, yeah, we're out of earthworms. Ha! We got to go get more earthworms. All right, let's pick up our fish, and then we'll grab a load of earthworms. And of course, oh, right there, I had it start filling. So we need to grab a load of earthworms. Took you a bit of time to, yeah, the fish bait seafood for a new player, if you never played any of my maps before, can get a little bit uh, confusing. Oh, right there, start filling. Let's hit this one and we'll go to the left. There comes that jet skier after me again. He's gonna hit me yet. Hey, start filling. I'm getting lucky with the picking up the fish. Now if I finish the new Hidden Lakes map, it will have this fishing boat. Not the boat on the spline. Alright, not so lucky with, oh there we go, with this buoy. For update 2, no, if I put this fishing in and take that one out, it would be a new game save. I don't want to do anything right now that's going to be a new game save. This fishing runs on global company. If I add another global company function to the map, it's an automatic new game save. One more. Yeah, y'all, I'm probably going to go out another 10 15 minutes and get out of here because I got to cook dinner for myself or I won't be eating tonight. There we go. Hope I had it. Okay, oh, I am missing one. What am I missing? Which buoy did I miss? Okay, now I'm com completely confused as to what buoy I missed. Did I miss one? I had to miss one. 
Yeah, we missed one somewhere. Hmm. Make me drive back and see which one I missed. I think I missed the one down here. Oh, Dixie's pirate ship feature. Uh, pirates wish the ship would uns uh, unfurl its sailos. Show you this sk skull and crossbones. You know, I I can't. The snowflakes would complain. Oh, this one doesn't have any fish. Where did I? Which buoy did I miss? If not, I'm just going to say the heck with it. We'll figure it out next time. I just want to know what buoy I missed. You don't have any fish. Did I just not pick them up from here? I don't know if I can make any adjustments to that ship because I don't... If I worked... If I knew how to do... Did I miss this one? Yeah, I missed this one. All right. If I know how to use um, Blender, I can adjust that ship. But unfortunately, I don't know how to use Blender. So I, I would actually prefer to make my own models. So one of these days I'm going to teach myself um, Blender. All right, 60,000 is going to get us started. All right, unfortunately I got to tab my way out of here. All right, let's grab a load of fish bait or a load of earthworms. And we'll at least get earthworms over to the boat. We could check on the earthworm factory while we're back there. Where is my pallet truck? Piece of cake for Winston, yeah. He's got a bunch of his own projects going on at the moment. I can't prove it, but I think Papa and Winston have a little bit of inside information on 22 that they're not sharing. And I think they're getting a whole bunch of stuff ready to convert secretly from 19 to 22 and they're not sharing any of their knowledge They're both Giants partners, that may be it. Giants is not sharing any information on the editor though, but Papa knows somebody that works for Giants. So he gets a lot of inside information. Do we have earthworms? You are out of compost. Crap, and we just came back with an empty truck. We could have brought crates back with us. All right, we have to make, we gotta bring some crates over to here and we got to bring some compost over to here. What setting are you on? You're on regular size pallets. Uh, so this needs crates and compost. I'm going to spawn out 16 more pallets.
Nikki Fizz, hello. Where's Farm Chick? You want to give her a big thank you for testing the valley map. I think she's been doing a lot of playing on the server with Dixie. Dixie talks to Farm Chick more than I do. But I haven't had anything new to test recently. I've got two more factories I have to send to Dixie, and it's the last two factories that'll be released for 19. But I don't have them uploaded to uh, my Mega account yet. Because I have five hours worth of YouTube videos to upload a day. I just haven't gotten to upload the last two factories yet. Alright, so let's throw these in here so we have them. She's still doing the moving thing. Yeah, she had a four, I think it was four hours from where she is now, each way to the new place. All right, we're going to run back to the mill and grab a load of crates and then grab that last bit of earthworms and bring them over here. Because when I'm done with this video, I still have another three-hour upload to YouTube uh, as soon as I get out of here and go make cook myself some dinner. There's another game I have my eye on, but it's I was watching another YouTuber play, and it's really super, super complicated. And I just don't want to take the time right now to learn how to play it. But it's called Workers and Resources, the Soviet Republic, or something like that. It reminds me a little bit of... It's a com it, I don't know. It's hard to describe. It's a cross between Transport Fever 2 and... But it's similar to Transport Fever 2, but you have to place all your own industries down. It, it's Watch a couple of YouTube videos on it. It's, it's pretty in-depth. All right, how many crates do we have? We've got a ton of crates. So let's just spawn out 40. We'll take a full load of crates with us back to the earthworm factory a building a Walmart in real life <laughs> Winston just released a new map basically farming but converted all the way from 13 yeah he's been working on that convert for a while the biggest problem with converting something like that from 13 to 19 is all the textures you gotta, re you gotta update all the textures you have to update all of the um, shaders and you have to update all of the foliage so basically you gotta, you gotta take all of the trees and all the grass and all the foliage out of the map and replace it and then if he added any new crops that even complicates it more Don't even know what FS13 is. I didn't start playing until 17. I messed around with the editor a bit in 17, but never released the map. I started building Ritchieville for 17, and it never got released. So I had no idea what the heck I was doing, I couldn't get it to work. 
and then I rebuilt it for 19 but it was a whole ton of trial and error before I knew what I was doing Go back to FS11. I think I have... When 17 was out, I thought, you know what? I, I played 17 for a bit. There were, like when 17 first came out, and there was no, not a lot of good maps out yet. And I actually went back and I bought... Like, I, I can't remember if it was 11 or 13, but only played on it for like an hour and uninstalled it. So I've got that one sitting in my Steam library with only like a half an hour, an hour of gameplay on it. I gotta go let the dog out. Let me drop this load of crates off. I gotta go let the dog out. All right, y'all be right back. How many of these took and how many of these didn't take? Uh, go back to half a uh, It's been converted to 17. Yeah, I'm not sure. I know he was working on I know he released it, but I absolutely can't remember the name of the map. Dixie may know. All right, so we have to get a load of compost over here. Let's take these with us. Uh, regular size pallets? Yeah, regular size pallets. Let's take the scenic route and go around the tree. Can I drive between these? Nope, I'm just going to push the crates out of the way. but I am going to take 16 more with me. And we'll have enough earthworms for to do a little bit of fishing. Now, if 22 is a go and it's relatively easy to convert stuff over, I'll probably do the Ritchieville map first, then the Hollow map second. This map will be third. The Valley map will be fourth. And I'm not going to convert the Homestead or the Islands map over. They just don't get enough players. That's it. Uh, that's the name of the map that, yeah, Winston just released. I think Papa Smurf did a live stream on it, on the map for the map release.
let's go grab so much compost we have and see if we can't take any back to the earthworm factory. And now I'm going to get out of here for the night because i got to make dinner. I actually have to cook dinner, eat dinner, and then clean up the mess myself tonight. And I don't think the dog is going to do the dishes for me. But yeah, I'm, I'm cooking dinner, but I'm being a little bit lazy. I went out today and I bought the Encore Salisbury steak six pack. So I'm going to throw that in the microwave, but I'm going to make instant mash. I bought a box of instant mashed potatoes and frozen lima beans. Oh, that's, I wanted to check on. <coughs> oh, excuse me, that came out of nowhere. I want to check on compost. We have, yeah, we have enough to run back to. Oh, no, we don't. We only have 40,000 liters of compost. Why are you shut down? Because you have no freaking diesel. All right, let's take care of that problem. I don't think I have any diesel here in storage yet. So we're going to have to do a run back to the refinery. Double check here, but I'm almost positive I don't have any diesel over here. Oh, I do. I only need like 50,000 liters. Well, this guy's been sitting here working for like three days out of diesel. Oh, goodness. So, I'm not even going to work, I'm not even going to take those 40,000 liters back to fish processing because it's not going to do me any good. Or the earthworm factory, I mean. All right, y'all, I'm going to park this vehicle up. I'm going to throw y'all on ending soon. And I'm going to save and close. Appreciate everybody stopping in. Uh, much appreciated. I'm going to get out of here because I've got a two and a half hour YouTube upload plus the two factories for Dixie to test and i got to get dinner made. So everybody have an awesome night and I'll catch you all tomorrow.